نعم حفظكم الله يقول سمعنا من حديث جابر رضي الله عنه بأنهم عند فتح بلاد الشام كانوا يجدون حمامات متجهة إلى القبلة May Allah preserve you. We're led from the hadith of Jabir, may Allah be pleased with him, that after the conquest of Sham, they found out that the toilets were in the direction of the Qibla. Jabir said, so we would turn away from its direction, then seek Allah's forgiveness. Based on this, is it impermissible to sit in the direction of the Qibla whilst relieving oneself, even if this is in the building? ثم ماذا عن حديث ابن عمر ورؤيته للنبي صلى الله عليه وسلم وهو يتخلى في الفضاء مستقبل القبلة؟ In addition, how do we reconcile the hadith of Ibn Umar who saw the messenger, peace be upon him, relieve himself whilst facing the direction of the Qibla. أما قوله في الأول حديث جابر أنهم قدموا الشام فوجدوا ما رحيض قد بنيت نحو الكعبة فليس الحديث لجابر رضي الله عنه بل هو لأبي أيوب الأنصاري. Let's begin with his statement regarding the hadith of Jabir that when they came into Sham they found out that the path the restrooms were built in the direction of the Kaaba. This is not the hadith of Jabir, may Allah be pleased with him. Rather, it is a narration of Abi Ayyub al Ansari, who said, When they arrived Sham, they found out that the bathrooms were built towards the direction of the Kaaba. He said, so we would seek, turning away from his direction, and we would seek Allah's forgiveness. وأبو أيوب هو الذي روى عن النبي صلى الله عليه وعلى آله وسلم أنه قال لا تستقبلوا القبلة بغائط ولا بول ولا تستدبروها ولكن شرقوا أو غربوا And it was Abu Ayyub who reported from the Prophet Peace be upon him that to not urinate nor relieve yourself while facing the direction of the Qibla nor should you do so with your backs towards its direction. You should, however, face the east or the west. وأما حديث من عمر فإنه كان يقول رقيت يوما على بيت حفصة فرأيت النبي صلى الله عليه وعلى آله وسلم يقضي حاجته مستقبل الشام مستدبر الكعبة. Now, as for the hadith of Ibn Umar, he said, one day, I climbed onto the house of Hafsa, and I saw the Prophet, peace be upon him, relieving himself, facing the direction of Sham, and his back was facing the direction of the Kaaba. وحديث من عمر لا يعارض حديث أبي أيوب رضي الله عنه لأن حديث أبي أيوب في الاستقبال وحديث وحديث ابن عمر في الاستدبار وبينهما فرق. The hadith of Ibn Umar does not contradict the hadith of Abi Ayyub. May Allah be pleased with him. Since the hadith of Abi Ayyub was on facing the Qibla, and the hadith of Ibn Umar was on backing the Qibla. And there is a difference between both. So based on this, and in order to reach a balance really on the subject, we say it is not permissible to face or back the direction of the Qibla in open spaces. As for buildings, it is permissible to turn your back towards it, but it is not permissible to face its directions. And 
هل يعدلها حتى تكون الكعبة عن يمينه أو عن شماله؟ Therefore, to conclude, anyone who has built the restrooms facing the direction of the Kaaba must rebuild it in such a way that the Kaaba is situated either on its right or its left-hand side.